Welcome to Intermediate Level English Language Arts. Hi guys and welcome to English Language Arts Grade 6. Our topic for today would be pronouncing the words and phrases with the P and the F sound. Right? So some cultures, they tend to mix up certain pronunciations of words, right? Due to the different uh, pronunciations of words in their native language. For us Filipinos, right, we tend to mix up the words P and the F often. Why? Because for Filipino words, these two words, these two letters, P and F, are commonly interchangeable. That's why you have Filipino or Pilipino. Both are okay. Right? That's why for a lot of us Filipinos, we tend to have difficulties or we tend to interchange even English words when it comes to these two letters, P and the F sounds. Alright? That's why you have, for example, oh, look at our perform performance. Can you please watch our performance? Or, please get the pish. Yes? It sounds funny. It may sound funny, kids. But uh, I, I really hope, or I, I'm telling you kids that you do not make fun of these people who make or interchange these things. It may sound funny, yes, but do not do not make fun of them. A lot of them, they do not really use um, English words often in their lives. That's why they don't really get to practice it often. Or they don't get to be, they're not very, um, uh, what do you call this, conscious about the ways they're pronouncing it. But for a, a lot of us people, we do tend to use these words often, especially when we're dealing with other people, especially foreign people. So, for you to be able to not make these mistakes, these common mistakes, let us go through the correct pronunciation of these words, of these or these sounds. Sorry. Okay. For when you're making the p sound, the p, your upper and lower lip should meet. P, p, and you're going to, you're, they're supposed to touch, right? And you're going to release a short but voiced burst of air. P, p. If you're going to release just an air but there's no voice, p, 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 there's, there, it, it doesn't sound. It won't sound at all. It might just sound like your lips um, opening and closing. That's it. But the P sound, there should be a voiced voice. A voiced um, burst of air. There you go. People, place, hip right for pronouncing the words with over uh, the sound the f sound your lower lip should touch your upper lip and you're going to f let air out unlike the v, the word v, right v is you're giving out um voiced air v. but for f, the f sound you're just letting air out f, f, free feel chef be careful about how you're pronouncing these two things because you could actually make um what do you call this you could actually give a miscommunication create miscommunication misunderstandings if you don't pronounce these two letters correctly if it starts with a p or words with p's are different with words with f's in in the english language so again if it's p your two lips are going to meet and you're going to release the voiced burst of air p but if it's F, you're going to put your lower lip and your upper teeth together and you're going to let out air. There we go. All right. And that pretty much ends our topic for um, pronouncing words or sounds with the P and the F sound.